Greetings from the grave, I'm Zero Voorhees. And I'm Haddonfield's homeboy, Jamie Myers, on Horror from the Grave, presented to you by Astro Zombies on Psychopath TV. That Haddonfield's homeboy, I keep forgetting I gotta come up with something too. I know, you do. I'll stick with that one, the killer kid from Crystal Lake. Or the pride of Crystal Lake, those are both good. Those were, but I'm gonna go with the killer kid. That works. So I can hold on to my youth by saying kid, even though I'm not really. Yeah, you are. At heart. At heart. That's all the I listened to the commercials when I was a kid. I don't want to grow up. I'm a... Oh, I listened to that, too. You know? So I'm holding that. But boy, was I fooled. Yeah. As I started to age, I was like, what the hell happened? I have to pay bills and shit? That, this sucks. You know you're growing up when you know you're cooler than the guy who plays Chuck E. Cheese? Because when you were a kid, you, like, idolized him and everything, but then you know you've grown up, and you're like, well, at least I don't work as Chuck E. Cheese. So, and when you're that's five, when you know And when you're five, you worship Chuck E. Yeah, Cheese. Yeah, that's exactly it. So, welcome back. And speaking of one of my fondest childhood memories... Oh, yeah. The movie Gremlins. What, pray tell, would Horror from the Grave be doing talking about Gremlins? Well, it's Gremlins. That movie kicked ass. Yeah, other than the fact it that, was kid-friendly horror. Other than the fact that Gremlins fucking ruled. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. And there's the connection. Little, uh, little, uh, Corey. Feld was like seven. That's in that, right. In that and shit. he, as you know, was in this one, I believe. So there you go. There's another Kevin Bacon 666 degrees of horror separation. So anyway, Gremlins 3, y'all is in the works, the talks, the negotiations, the pen pushing, the let's, paper shifting, the greasing the skids. Let's do it up. So. I want to see this. Not a remake, everyone. A Gremlins sequel. 3. A sequel. So that's cool. We will keep you posted on that. Because who doesn't like Gremlins? Come on. Come Wait, on. No, no one's around you right now. You don't have to pretend to be cool. Your girlfriend's sleeping with another guy, so she's not gonna see you do this. And you know you're. I'm just kidding. She's and you know you're. You're, you're sitting. <laughs> that in the, was horrible. Why would I say that? You're sitting in the in your room in the dark, playing with your Furby Gizmo right now, watching this episode, and you yes, know you it's are. damn true. Because I am. And I'll I may wait, be no, later too. Yeah. That's code. So anyway, <laughs> the higher up is not approved. It's not happening. By the way, everyone, the higher up has her own uh, YouTube channel things so go check her out llpbj you can look for it in our friends the higher up llpbj get her backstory and uh she's got a cool hr geiger background type thing so check that out i don't even have a fucking background <coughs> i still don't even know how to work that thing i'll show you some stuff man yeah you gotta show me because i have no idea what the hell i'm doing it took me a while too i'm trial this, and error i click this thing and it takes me to videos of chimpokomon or something yeah. i don't know what the hell's going on i'm like what you can't keep this? up with that no. <laughs> So anyway, back to the horror stuff. The trailer for Wrong Turn 3 can be found on bloodydisgusting.com. It can also be found on YouTube. Just put Wrong Turn 3. Is it good? I don't know. It looked weird. The picture of the dude was all ah, crazy looking. He's got white hair and everything. The trailer, it's just, it's Wrong Turn. It's weird. Hills redneck has horror. eyes type old school. Inbred just, redneck horror. Yeah, deliverance horror. So, more of that. And Necessary Evil. Mm -hmm. Good old Lance Hendrickson. And our old buddy, old pal, Danny Trejo. That's right. He's in everything. He is in everything. Disney movies included. But we still love the dude. Yes, we do. Even he's a though badass. Michael Myers gave him the greatest con of all time. Friend my ass. Oh, yeah. you're a thought. Sucker! God, I'm thinking I was your buddy because I was never your When pal. a killer drowns you, he's basically giving you an opportunity to play dead and let him go. So you should take advantage of that or you will get a TV, TV smashed, smashed out of your, your head. head. Yeah. So learn up from that, kiddies. That's how you survive these things. He's like, I was good to you. <coughs> I don't give a shit. But yeah, what's weird is one of our peeps asked us about Pumpkinhead. I think it was Supernatural. He asked us about Pumpkinhead and I was like, hell yeah, that Lance Hendrickson movie rules. And then I find that... Necessary evil. It's going to take place in a psych ward and everything like that. And it's Lance back in horror, which is always cool. Always well, cool to see. Well, well, Lance has always kind of been dibbling and dabbling in the horror because he did Hellraiser Hell World, which he's cool as hell in that movie, man. Right. He's yeah. bad in that. And, and mentioning that, Hellraiser 3 is coming back. What do you mean? 
on Blu-ray. Oh, okay. I'm and I'm going to look and see if it's going to be back on regular DVD because they did stop printing it. I got it. Yeah, he's got it. Whoa. But I don't. So You need it. <laughs> yes, That's I do. That's one. the best one. Exactly. But Blu-ray, uh, Hellraiser 3, they're going to have that. So, Hell on Earth. And uh, speaking of Hell, the Drag Me to Hell. Sam Raimi. This is where it's going to get Siskel and Eberty. Right here. This is where it's going to... Now... I will give it up to the dude. Sam Raimi. <laughs> I will give it up to him. He is... Sam Raimi. Sam Raimi. Talented and everything like that. But the story is just weird. Dude, it's Sam Raimi, dude. It is. And it's it's good to good to see him still... Coming back. This is return to horror. Exactly. Exactly. However... Sam Raimi. <laughs> the, the story... Can I tell the story of... Uh, Sure you can. All right. The way it's going to go down is it's going to reflect the economic times that we're in today with foreclosures and bad credit and bankruptcy and everything. And it's this little old witch lady, everything, satanic witch, black evil witch, just witch witch, yeah, and everything. She's trying to get an extension on her house. Can't do it. We've done it this many times. I curse you! And then it turns into this fucking twisted, twisted-ass horror movie. So, it's... Sam Raimi. There you go. So look forward to Drag Me to Hell. It's, you know, it's got... It's just weird. But Sam Raimi. But it's Sam Raimi, so we'll see what happens with that. So you know what that means? Huh. Sam Raimi equals Bruce Campbell. Because he's in all the licks, bro. That is true. He's in the spider man That is true. I hope he's like the bank manager, too. <laughs> that would be awesome. He's going to be something awesome. We'll look for that. We'll see if Bruce Campbell's going to be in oh, it. Oh, he'll be in it. That's just like asking if Howdy Doody has wooden balls. We all know that's true. It's <laughs> the same kind of deal. There we go. Did you know Sam Raimi, Bruce Campbell, and the Coen brothers, the directors, those guys, were all roommates? Really? Back in, in college? Or? No, no, they were like roommates when they were all first starting out, struggling... Oh, back in the and directors. sharing the apartment in L.A. Yep. type thing? That's awesome, man. I know. Talk about some millionaires. Yeah, now, now they probably own apartment complexes with people that are struggling like this. Yeah. So here we go. There you go. Um, we want to talk about Laid to Rest and Midnight Movie. Laid to Rest recently came out and everything. And... I loved it beat our expectations and everything. It's actually pretty good. And we, you know, we noticed some similarities, but not rip-offs, to uh, Midnight Movie, which we saw a couple months back, and we were like, yeah, this one's got potential too. Yep. So we're thinking, this is just a theory uh, that we have, that Laid to Rest and Midnight Movie has got some good potential to be the new generation of horror. They do. They I have mean, the potential. Laid to Rest can easily... Like, rip off some sequels. Oh. Or rip out, not rip off, but... <laughs> we rip out some... So, some good stuff. So, Late to Rest and Midnight Movie. If you haven't seen any of those, check them out. They're pretty good. Yeah. It's got old school slasher, stalk and slash, with the modern twist that everyone's trying to do in these remakes. It's original story. The kills are pretty goddamn creative oh, yeah. in both of those films. So, we're saying those two are the ones to keep your eyes... <laughs> On. Yeah, definitely. They, they were, I my expectations were blown away. Yeah. Laid to rest was, I was like, great. It's Destro from fucking G.I. Joe. <laughs> Horror movie about him. I was like, this is terrible. Like, the first couple minutes, but I was in it with a negative mind frame. And I was like, yeah. you know what? I'm going to start it over. I'm going to clear my head. I'm going to smoke me a, a great prime time and drink me some iced tea. We're going to go at this with a level, clear head. And I was like, you know what? This is actually badass. I liked it a lot. And no, we're not going to do that for Nightmare on Elm Street, so don't even ask. No way in hell. These are two different worlds, and we're just... It is going to be hard to, like, because we're going to have to go see it. Because we had that one person call me out on it. Oh, just wait, you can go see it. Fine. But if it doesn't change my mind, I'm going to hunt you down. Oh, yeah. It's You're going to be in your own horror movie. No stock and slash of your own. It says you guys are assholes. Yeah, we are. Try typing something we don't know. <laughs> you know, we we know we're kind of like that. But anyway, uh, we'll do one more for you right after this. 
And we got some shout-outs and some other stuff to take care of. So hang out. Horror from the Grave. Sam Raimi.